Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Nasir Pradasali. So in this video, we are going to discuss what is the cutoff for joint CECR UGC June 2021. So currently in this video, I'll be discussing only for life sciences paper and also under this lectureship category and assistant professorship category, both are same only. So last video, I had uploaded the cutoff for JRF category. If you are applied under JRF category, then please do watch that particular video. This video is only for those students who are applied under CLS category or this assistant professorship category. Okay, so without any delay, let's get into the video. Okay? So before entering into video, let me clarify you with respect to CSER exam December 2019 and all the cutoff was released on percentage only friends. So for unreserved category or general category, if the percentage that is percentage cutoff is 49 percentage means. So for 149 mark, then for out of 200, if a student is getting 98 or above 98, then he or she will clear the exam under this LS category friends. Okay. So please make yourself clear about this particular thing. Okay. And next thing is about this November 2020 examination friends. So no why November 2020 examination the cutoff was released on percentage. So November 2020 the cutoff was released on percentile only friends. If you want to know what is mean by percentile and percentile with respect percentage with respect to this joint CSCR which is in eight examination that for life sciences. Please do tell me please do watch the video that I had already uploaded. I will give the link in the description. I also as an end card. Okay. So what is the reason means with respect to December 2019 and all. Uh, we are in uh, before COVID era or BC era. So at that time point there was no COVID, there was no social distancing and all. At that time point the CSR exam and also with respect to life sciences exam was conducted in only one shift and also there was no morning shift and evening shift. And uh, we all the student had wrote the exam the same question paper and here there was no normalization as a result the cutoff was released in percentage. Next thing, November 2020. So, November 2020 and all we are in after COVID era or AC era. So, the exam was conducted in two shifts morning shift and evening shift. So at this time point they had released a different question paper. So after releasing the different question paper the NTA has con released the concept called normalization. So after they incorporating this normalization the cutoff was released on percentile. So with respect to joint CSCR UGC NET examination, lectureship and assistant professorship. So this is was the percentile cutoff that was released with respect to November 2020 and also with respect to June 2021 also our result will be released in percentile only because June 2021 also we have wrote the exam in two shifts. Two shifts signifies there was a two different question paper. So ultimately they will incorporate the process of normalization. Already I had uploaded a video what is mean by normalization and how our raw mark has been converted into normalization and who will get more benefit with respect to normalization. Please do watch that video also. Respect to November 2021, this is was a percentile cutoff range. And if you are a student who are arguing with me, this 97 is not a percentile, it is a percentage means let me clarify you. 97.18 percentage is the cutoff for percentage cutoff for unreserved. If you are saying means for 100 mark 97.18. For 200 mark, then a student will get 194 by 36. Definitely, it is not possible even to score this mark to score by a topper under this LS category because mark scored by the topper will be around 150 or 160, not more than that because the question paper will be set in that type of. So, I am making uh, yourself clear this is not a percentage cutoff, this is a percentile cutoff, friends. And next again a question asked. So we are currently have a uh, student are predicting uh, whether we will clear or not. So we can't able to get more thing and all because from November 2020 only they had incorporated a concept of percentage. And if you ask me whether based on percentage can I calculate a mark? No friends you can't able to calculate the mark based on percentage because percentage is absolute quantity friends where you can easily calculate the mark. But with respect to percentage it is a relative portion. It's saying where you are standing in the line. Okay. So how uh, where you are standing in the line like that only they will say you can't able to calculate the mark from your percentage and also I'm just showing you my uh, scorecard or result I can say so here I, I know where you can't able to see my mark instead of mark I can get only NTA score for part A part B part C and also total NTA score also I'm getting so nowhere I can able to see the mark with respect to December 2019 question paper or scorecard if you see uh, let me show you only then you can able to get more understanding so here you can be able to see in December 2019 also I have wrote my examination. So here they had given marks up 10. So part A I got 1.5 mark, part B I got 14.5 mark, part C I got 48 marks and total mark up 10 by me was 64. So again below they are giving NTA score. This is was before COVID era, December 19, I am showing a scorecard. Respect to this particular NTA score, that is a November 2020 scorecard, here you can be able to see instead of mark, they are giving only NTA score. Nowhere you can be able to get the mark. So after bringing the concept of uh, this uh, normalization, friends, nowhere you can be able to see mark, okay. So that's the thing I am again and again saying. 
Okay, so next if you ask me what is a cutoff means, first I will release a mark, how many marks you can get because this uh, uh, ND has already released the response sheet for all the life sciences and everything. Currently you have your question paper in your hand and also answer key in your hand. So based on the question paper and answer key, you can calculate your raw marks. You can get to know how many marks you are getting. So based on that, you can get to know whether you are clearing or not friends. So based on category wise, I am giving. Your general category and also for lectureship, you should get 95 to 100 marks friends. Then you will definitely clear the LS program under general category and if you are EWS category or OBC non-criminal category then you should be getting your mark should be between 95 to 90 okay or else if you are getting more mark after, uh, uh, greater than 85 also there are chances for you to clear this exam under LS category and also SC student if you are a SC student means then you need to get 60 to 70 mark to clear under LS category and if you are ST candidate then you need to get 55 to 60 mark under uh, to clear under the LS category and also if you are a person with disability then you should get 50 mark. So easily you can able to know now itself based on response sheet itself you can know whether you are clearing your exam or not. So this is a cutoff mark but I am again saying the cutoff will not be released mark wise or percentage wise for life sciences only percentage wise your mark will be released. So again I am putting a video based on percentage wise I am giving you the slide okay. So if you are a general category and also for lectureship question then you need to your percentage should be above 95. So, why I am saying means your scorecard, your scorecard will be released by NTA friends. Okay, your result, so your result will generally have a PDF column. So, I, I, once again, I am showing you the result for this particular thing so that it will be really much helpful. So, your result just like this particular thing only your result will be released. So, here PDF will be there and based on roll number, they will release your rank and whether you are qualifying or if your roll number is in this, then definitely you will be qualified. If your roll number is not in this particular PDF, then you are not qualified. So, this is how the thing will be there. So, nearly the NTA will take one month of time period. So, after releasing the scorecard, they don't immediately release the result pdf it they will take one month of time so in the scorecard definitely you have your percentage score so let me show you my scorecard so here the nta scorecard itself nta score is given so this is before score releasing friends so rank control after only i got it so before i got the scorecard the scorecard i'm getting 97.4 so 97.4 is my NTA score. So after that you can able to see if your general category then your percentage score should be 95. EWS category then your percentage score should be above 90. And OBC category and EWS category I am putting the same percentage. And if you are ASC your percentage is a percentage. It is not a mark out of 100 friends. It is again and again saying percentage. If you are SC, you should get above 85 percentage. And ST you should get above 75 percentage. And if you are a person with disability then you should get above 70. Again I am saying this is you know, currently you can't able to check now only NTA scorecard has been released definitely you can check this particular thing friends so please note that particular time point next student are getting one particular thing as a confusion uh, both the LS and JRF they are having a mini mark difference uh, that is an extreme mark difference like that your students are seeing so I am just comparing you so this is a NTA score for June 2020 examination for LS you can able to so this is a percentage for LS 97.19 this is for general category, EWS category, OBC, SC, ST and person with disability. Whereas if you take a NTA score for 98, score wise there was not much difference friends. Whereas if you compare the raw marks, that is making a difference friends. So this is I am taking only June 2019 because June 2020 examination there was no mark or percentage wise cutoff was not released. In June 2021 percentage cutoff only released. So I just took a June 2019. You can able to see lectureship, raw marks I am saying. So if a student is getting 90 94.5 mark out of 100 then he will definitely clear the CSR exam under LS category whereas for JRF category the same student need to get 105 mark out of 100 only then he will clear under JRF category so JRF it will be having 105 means LS it will be having 9 95 like that so most commonly there will be 10 marks only difference friends okay so don't think there will be no 25 mark like that and all that the difference is very little bit only so that's what I need to say. So please rush up your preparation. If your response sheet, if your calculator mark is less than that of 80 and all, you can't able to assure you you can clear the exam and all if you belong to general category. Whereas if you are OBC, EW, EWS, CST, you can score, you can hope for creating clear under LS category. Hope this video will be very much helpful. If it is helpful, please do subscribe in my YouTube channel. Okay, thank you friends. Thanks for watching this video.